So I guess this is where we will start today's video. Our Indian friend is heartbroken. He dropped the emoji on the timeline. And he has now confirmed that him and the OF girlfriend have officially parted ways. And this is in response to his heartbroken tweet. Our guy Jack the Ripper comes out of nowhere to drop some sarcastic crying emojis. I mean, I won't lie to you guys, Jack is a savage. I told y'all how he was e-pimping out Neon's girl in the past, I mean for years. I guess Neon kinda tried to save her from that lifestyle, it's like he went to the strip club and tried to grab one of those girls out of there. And now it's like she's back laid up with the e-pimp. He's like, hey man, my girls always come home. And Neon's hurt, man. He says, ratio, your life's a joke. And it's like, dude, you really don't have a lot of room to be calling someone else's life a joke right now. Because this tweet describes your situation perfectly. Bro fell in love with a girl who's got fans in her body one Google search away. Ooh. I mean, that's gonna be the toughest part for this guy after the breakup, is that his ex-girl is a very embarrassing public figure. I mean, at this point, she might be taking Adam 22 up on his little disgusting offer. If we offer Sam Frank one million dollars to shoot for the entirety of 2024 for Plug Talk, how do you feel about that and how do you feel about that? We will give you a million dollars to leave him no. and come shoot for us slash babysit. You have an exclusive deal for her vagina for the year. I have an exclusive deal for her pull. And so this is a sentiment that we're going to see a lot throughout this video today. Sam Frank, the heartbreaker. Neon, we tried to warn you. Like who the f*** is out here posting these graphics? Let me find out this is the work of Keemstar. Speaking of Keemstar, by the way, what the f*** is this tweet? Sam Frank cheated on Neon, rumor, more details in our bio. And I don't think I've ever seen a grown man more shocked about something. I mean, he's losing his ever-loving mind over this shit. That is a 50-year-old man right there. And here's where he came on stream to actually talk about this orchestrated breakup. I didn't expect it. I don't think anyone really did. You know, it was something that just didn't work out. I guess wrong place, wrong time. I don't know what it is, but... I mean, I won't lie to you, my guy. I think absolutely everyone expected this to go down. It was like from the very moment this guy laid eyes on her, she knew exactly how she was going to use him for clout and power. Like, before he brought her around, absolutely nobody knew who she was. And he literally gifted this woman a career probably tenfold what she ever would have accomplished on her own. Now, did he also get some clout off their relationship in return, like just with the whole story unfolding? Sure, but I think he was already pretty poppin' before they even met. Everything happens for a reason, and... Yeah, y'all can call me a loser or anything, but I genuinely still love her a lot, so... <laughs> um, but you know, if you, you love someone so much to where you have to just let them go, and it is what it is. We told you, we don't care, bro. We don't care. Expected loser minus 5K. I'm not, I'm not paying any bets, by the way. If anyone um, I made a bet with, I'm not paying you shit, so. Wow. Hey, man, he better send our homeboy who owns the shoe store his money. They shook on that bet. $10,000 bet that you will not be with her in 12 months. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> 12, 12 months from today, you have to be with Sam. You want to do $1,000? 5K. 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 
and she was not handling the responsibility of fame at all, always turning up on people, thinking that she was the most badass person in the room, and in general, putting this guy in some pretty shitty situations. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys, if you're dating a girl and pretty much anyone can just pull up her nudies at any time, to me, you're putting yourself in a very vulnerable position. And that's why I think like the embarrassment doesn't stop here. Like you were gonna be linked to this person for a very long time because your relationship was so public. And so now everything she does after this breakup is going to reflect on him. Like if she's out making out with some guy, you know this dude's gonna hear about it. They're already making sad edits of this guy. I just hope one day y'all see the real me. I hope, I hope, I hope. I will go cry, I will, I will. I genuinely will, on God I will. Cool. I will go cry. I'll go cry. Even the OG Vitaly had to step in to give his opinion on this relationship. Well, Sam is like throwing a hot dog in the hallway, and Neon, I think, is still a virgin. And if he c**ks Neon, he's probably c**king biryani sauce. So that's all I would say. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you have any tips for guys like Neon who might be struggling in the bedroom? Dump the fu Well, I don't know. He's probably a twink. I, I say you go to the gym and you tie a five-pound dumbbell to your and you lift and you lift your calves and you stretch it out that's how i've been practicing so it's so only the most insightful words of advice coming from this genius i honestly want to know for this guy will cosplaying as a disabled person ever get old said he loved her yeah i mean mate i'm, I'm sure he did he's a fucking 19 year old kid just his first girlfriend the first breakup is always a tough one because you think that the love of your fucking life but little do you know in a year nothing matters the whole the world is in your palms, my boy. <laughs> Do it. Take it. Take it. Take it for as long as you got it, mate, because it doesn't stay there forever, bruv. And that might be the realest message anyone had for him today. Like, yes, that first love is going to sting, but once you come out on the other end, you are usually a better person for it. And also, he makes a very good point that internet fame and, like, when you're at the top of the game, it usually doesn't last that long. And so he should still really try and capitalize on his opportunity and not just fall into like a depression. And this has to be the saddest reaction we've seen to this breakup, where this apparent Sam Frank simp is this excited that she's single. I mean, you would think this dumb mother just won the championship. All for what, this to get clipped with 3,800 views? Now your room is about sticky as fuck. I mean, one time I got too drunk in this room and I ended up spilling a big old thing of sweet tea all over my desk, all over my keyboard. The shit was never the same. I had to buy a whole new setup. Even Sneeko steps in and I think he actually gives one of the most reasonable takes. Apparently Neon's going through some stuff. Obviously, like a lot of it's definitely for engagement, you know? It's a lot of it is, is definitely coordinated. But apparently he broke up with his girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. I think it's just whatever, just yapping for content. And if we're going to be honest, I don't really believe any of that. So yeah, Sneeko ain't buying the bullshit. And so eventually Neon actually would end up going to meet with Sneeko at a gym. But how you been? Uh, no, I'm better. How have you been? I'm good. He gave me a mic? I'm yeah, no, I got a mic. Bro, he doesn't look sad at all. I'm not going to lie to you. I you, don't look sad. No, you seem fine. Just come here and like cry. You look, you look like it's another day. You look like you had a bad stream and then you're just looking about the next stream. Like you don't look like you're going through anything too bad. This really does seem like a big brother talking to a little brother. Especially like <laughs> tweeting all that shit like, oh, nothing can separate us. We're locked in for life. Like all that stuff. And it's just here, you know, got rid of it and moved on. But uh, hey man, who was right, chat? Who was right? But it's time for the new arc, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be mean. I'm not gonna be a dickhead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it. I mean, I gotta say, Sneeko is taking a rare W here. Because not only is he going to be there for his boy, but he's also not going to let him get away with his bullshit. And I still think he's really just not buying the entire thing. There's nothing more to it. Like, everyone wants me to hate her. I don't hate her at all, bro. Whose decision was it, to be honest? Um, I mean, we both talked. It was both of us. But... It was mutual? Yeah. You decided at the same time, one, two, three, let's break up. No, we just both agreed it was, it was time. Listen guys, the story is not adding up. Like, this is the face of a man who knows his friend is lying. Well, you want me to be like, F that like, No, I just want, I want to hear the truth. Are you gonna go back or are you like actually done? That's done. You sure? Yeah. What'd you think about all the people that were warning you before? <laughs> um, I mean, it didn't end bad, so it's not like, you know this fucker loves a good I told you so moment. In fact, that's probably what this guy lives for. That's pretty bad. How? 
Everybody's <laughs> saying that she was cheating on you like while you were in surgery. Oh man. She was up there on the slopes, but she was doing a different type of skiing. Didn't end good. <laughs> I don't feel away. It seemed like you're handling it well. Yeah, right. You, he is handling it pretty well. I can't lie. Mm. Nah, not really. <laughs> There's no tears. I mean, not in public. Does it change your opinion about anybody that was warning you beforehand? <laughs> he wants this, I told you so, so bad. Like everybody that was telling you this is not a good idea. Like has your opinion changed about anything? And for those of you that don't remember, I think it's probably been around four or five years now when Neon first kind of broke onto the internet and was making a name for himself. He was actually doing it through this massive trolling campaign. I mean, at the time he was just like a 13 or 14 year old kid. And at that time, he essentially faked his own death for internet clout. And after that, he had disappeared from the internet for a couple of years because obviously he didn't have a very good reputation. And that guy Aiden Ross kind of found him in the trash. He picked him up, he took him out, he dusted him off. And he's the one who kind of gave Neon this second life when it comes to internet fame. Well, apparently the two of them have beef at this point. And last night when Neon tried to give him a call, Aiden basically told him to kick rocks. Uh, real quick, I'm with somebody. He just wants to say, um, somebody wants to say hi to you. Okay. Yo. Who is that? It's Neon. What's good? <laughs> I mean, I won't lie to you guys. Lately, this guy Aiden Ross has been taking some W's himself. He was saying he's gonna send that Uber driver from a couple videos back a bunch of money. And now he's not giving in to Neon's little game. There's no where I stand on that, bro. Like, it's not no yo. Y'all gassing up for what? You guys already know where the fuck I stand on that. Yeah, bro. So now that you broke up with this girl, I'm just, I'm just supposed to accept them into my arms, right? <laughs> like, like y'all are fucking stupid as fuck. No, that's not how it works. Damage been done. She already been said to her that she already knows so much about me, bro. <laughs> I might even speak on it. Just leave me alone, bro. All my secrets and all my group secrets and shit, they know every. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm good off that, bro. Let's not even talk about it, please. Yeah, so it sounds like Neon was pillow talking to his girl about Aiden, told her a bunch of secrets, and now he don't fuck with him. And now people are saying, hey, Neon, you can't be mad because Aiden called this shit from the start and you did not believe him. Bro, she has an entitlement issue. She thinks she's the hot shit. She thinks she's the main character. She's not, bro. That's nothing without you. Neon, she made a fucking TikTok uh, three, oh, 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 three weeks ago before she met you. The, uh, the most famous person in my contact is Aiden Roth. Bitch, did she know what she was doing? She had this, she had this whole thing uh, planned out, bro. And listen guys, at the end of the day, this dude is gonna be alright. I hope you all were not as shocked as Keemstar about this entire thing. But y'all let me know what you guys think down below. How much of this situation do you think was real, if any of it? I'm sure the two of them will either have some beef at this point or they'll have like a makeup stream. Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy the Tan Superman. And some other horrible streamers out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace.